Hello traders, welcome to the weekly forex forecast and the COT report for the 22nd August. So we will look uh, what's going on on the markets and how we can benefit on that. Let's start with the COT and right now we are looking to the Aussie. Just to remind you, you can find this COT on my website fxhunterworld.com. In the top COT, there is all of these data for free for you. So you can go there and you can check it and learn by yourself. Uh, so we are looking to the Aussie dollar. So what's going on here? We can see that for some quite some time, the banks are still adding the longs positions. And now they have added as well the shorts positions. So the the positions uh, the exposure is still around 50 50 percent so that's why the aussie is right now in the sideways and uh, uh, after the wednesday's fomc it's quite uh, dropped down which is not still included in this uh, data so what's probably will be going on um, uh, it's hard to guess because it will depends a lot of on the dollar however i think that if the Aussie should become uh, the bearish. I think there would co have to be positions closing on the longs, which we don't see yet. And if that will happen, it will be happening on the highs, not on the lows. So I think the Aussie is still possible to give a slight uh, bullishness. Next one will be Euro. So let's go to the Euro. And here is the thing. So what happened? For the first time in the long time, we can see the longs closing. The longs dropped from the 26, 66k to the 2259k, and uh, we can see that they close some shorts as well. So this uh, is very interesting. I will show you on the charts what is probably going on, and here is still we are. 81 percent to the 19 exposure with the 196 okay net longs which means we have the drop uh, minus 2k in the total positioning so the euro uh, does it mean it's go getting bearish it doesn't have to be because this can be just the profit taking because why we reached the 10 years maximum net positions right so that's why they taking some profit out because they need to free some money for some uh, future up move or the or they want to take the price down i will explain you on the charts what's my thoughts here is the commercials we are seeing that they are in the extremes as well so why are they shorting because they still want to book the uh book the cheap euro next one will be pound and here is the really interesting things happening on the pound pound is actually getting the strongest currency right now we can see that the long-term trend is uh, adding the long positions and in the sh in and with the shots we can see they are dropping right so the pound has bounced through the uh, i mean bounce it break through the uh through this exposure 50 50 so we are now 53 percent to the long side on the on the pound and the net positions became six and a half k longs in quite some last three weeks we can st still see adding the longs positions and even the fomc and the quite strong dollar for the last couple of days didn't drop the pound too much yet i think it will drop us slightly but uh uh, we will see on the price section what we can do uh, next one will be kiwi and here happened what i was saying in the previous uh, 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 weekly forecast so we have seen that the price was uh, ranging right and uh, now we can see that there was the big adding the longs positions and big drop in the shorts positions it's actually happened on the tuesday before the reports and then the price dropped down slightly again into the stop loss zone so i think here is the level where the buying could be and from where we still could see some uh, positions uh, uh, to be i mean some movements a little bit higher let's see now this everything will be a, a lot of about the dollar next one will be j usd frank and on the usd frank we are seeing this so here is the quite uh, small 
adding of the longs positions and the profit taking from the shorts so we are seeing that the minus 17k uh, net positions drop to the minus 14 which is two and a half k uh, growth and uh, we are seeing that from the 80 percent exposure to the 77 so that means that the franc is the profit taking it's actually s happening same over the all board the profit taking from the most of these big trends what was happening against the dollar except the pound uh, kiwi and yen actually so let's look what's going on here on the kiwi we are seeing on the usd jpr we are seeing the uh, uh, Profit taking, closing the longs positions, and we are seeing uh, closing the shorts positions a little bit more. So what that means? That means that we are getting uh, from the 31k to the 20k. So that means the USD JPY still could go higher. So we have the weaker JPY, right? And the last one will be actually. Uh, this is actually everything USD cat we did we check the cat yes we actually check the cat as well so that's for the COT let's go to the charts and what we see here is uh, actually this so here are some trades which I'm looking for this is the Aussie cat I have said that uh, I will be waiting for the Aussie, Aussie to be stronger so right now what's actually happening we have the trend line break right we have the break of this law we have free test so it's breaking again so another confirmation for the retail traders to enter and I think that once they enter this law the price will go pick up these stop losses who they which they will put here and here so there I will be uh, looking for and it would be the profit taking from the Aussie positions as I said and there I will be looking for to join this uh, bigger move down so I am actually the bearish on the Aussie cat but I will not be shorting the low I will be waiting for this price is visited and then I will be looking for the short next one is the cad yen so we said that we having a very weak uh, yen which is getting weaker so USD JPY can go up and we said that uh, the cat is getting weaker as well however if we compare the positions and the price section uh, on the bigger time frame this still can go higher so what I'm waiting for now is that uh, the price will drop through the stop loss zones and uh, that when I will see this this will be the reason for the retail traders to short so the banks could buy because uh, they already shorted this trend line you know and when they will be shorting this false break of this low that will be the signal for me to go long next one is a euro cat i'm actually already in this trade and here happened that's what i was uh, waiting for i was actually calling this drop but uh, i didn't trade it right so the price dropped down into my zone in here well, why this zone because as said they are building the position so they have the stop loss zones right and uh, they bounced now they went through it so what could happen right now of course the price can drop uh, even lower into this middle band of this channel and I have the stop loss below this level so here I will be waiting for the price to come up because here is as well this uh, this uh, long-term channel right and we have the positions on the euro on the longs and if they will be uh, closing these positions on the euro they don't want to close them down down here they will want to close them here 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 and my here right and the cat is weak so this could go up very easily I think so of course I can be wrong anytime here's the euro JPY and uh, I think now it's very clear right so we all seen that euro is very bullish on the COT and we want to see the positions uh, uh, the profit taking right so the profit taking will be probably in this zones right JPY weak which can go up so we have the tra traders shorted this trend line break now even more traders will enter here on this uh, stop loss zone uh, of these buyers and there will be as well the this 
break of this trend line and then continuation up right why the stop loss zones because we can see here was the break of this high so those traders who entered this break here or might uh, those who entered the bounce here expecting the price to go up oh uh, well where they put stop losses they put them here right and why i want to buy here so let me just explain quickly why i think this will be nice buying zone because one side have to sell and uh, so another can buy so we have this we have this trend line break right traders shorting then will be this uh, low break of this low even more shorting and those who enter these longs these longs you know maybe they will be entering the longs here they will be having stop losses here and the buy they having a buy and if the stop losses are hit they have to sell so a lot of selling will appear here so for me it's gonna be buy right all right so the next one is euro and here is the euro so i said that uh, they having the 266k long contracts which they had here uh sorry in here and uh, in this period they actually closed uh, something like uh, 6k contracts so they probably closed some contracts here some of them here uh i'm sorry uh, they closed some shorts here because they closed shorts but the longs they probably been closing in here here because uh, who bought these uh, uh, positions from them those who entered the long here right it's uh, quite stupid to enter the that's why i never buy uh, highs or sell the lows so they probably closed some shorts along here maybe some here and uh, then we had the fomc of course tricky on the wednesday so we so it's not included in the report so on the fomc strong dollar or maybe the position closing right so as we said actually uh, we all agreed and we have seen this uh, in the past uh, when they have such a big uh, long positions this is actually extreme long positions of the last 10 years uh, what would you do if you are the bank would you close some longs here some longs here some longs here? of course you can do it because but we know from the cot that they accumulated most of it in the last of the uh for five weeks you know so <clears throat> here is the one two three four this in this weeks so these these trades uh, has to be uh was added in these periods right so where you want to close them here with the small profit holding all this way up and then close them down here no you want to close them up here right so what's probably happening right now is that uh sorry what is this oh uh so what's probably happening right now the retail trade is trading this short and as well those who enter at this long they have stop loss in here right so as well what's gonna happen even more short traders will be entering here because the break of this trend line and same situation and i think of course they can take it even much higher but i think in above these levels will be very nice to take the profit for them so that's what i will be looking for to trade next one is pound oz this one is uh, i'm waiting for this trade for quite some time we have a uh, bounce from this big level here so the price was moving up in the level in the wave one two right and now we are having this uh, corrective structure so what has to happen is right now again we need to hit this stop loss zone of those who bought here here maybe here maybe here you know maybe the break of here so actually the banks has created big positions in here we know that the pound is uh, getting very bullish so as it is dropping right now that's gonna be just some profit taking and they will be want they will want to reaccumulate even more so i'm waiting for this now some people asking me because i called this drop into the stop loss zone already i think it was already when the price was why i didn't short it here why i didn't short it here and why i don't take sh this short because you know i'm trying to live my life and uh, trade uh, easily you know this is what i can wait for i mean i'm waiting for more than one week for this trade no problem for me but uh you know this is uh this can happen you can see how this can happen 
they took this down you know not into the profit or maybe maybe you short it here they take it up you know they a lot of uh, things which i don't want to do i better wait for this one on the daily or four hours chart and uh, then i take long so it's easier for me and more clear to trade bigger time frame charts so if you trading lower time frames i think you have a lot of stress and things uh this is the gbp cat very similar so we have as well these waves going on here and uh here as even more you know so we have we seen on the beginning of this video the pound is strong cat is getting weak so in here i would be looking for the big long we have the old conditions met so the retail traders sh shorting the trend line one stop loss zone out second stop loss zone why is it stop loss zone because they're trading the longs here right they want boom price dropping down a lot of shorting will appear here and i will be expecting it to take up because the banks are bullish on the pound and weak on the cat so that's why here is the uh, sorry 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 i have moved like this so here is the pound and uh here is what i'm expecting to happen so we know that uh the, the dollar has come strong after the fomc so we don't have the data for this where the pound was strong probably they closed of course some positions and they would be looking for some reaccumulation and where they would do it so if they need to buy more someone has to sell it right so we have it here we have this trend line so retail traders already selling right they already selling and they will be able to take some profits but uh, don't expect any big move down yet uh, and as well here is the stop loss zone of those who entered at this break right it's very I mean it's very discouraging if you enter the long here and the price immediately start to drop down but this is how the liquidity works and once you understand this it's very easy you must think what the others are doing so what I'm waiting for is this actually the trend line already broken right so I need to see the break of this low and uh, again so they will might do this so even more confirmations for shorting right here is the long-term channel so i want to have my stop loss below that and here i will be looking for the more longs right my long-term channel is uh, channel sorry target is even higher but uh, i think uh, here one three one three two five you know it's a, quite a lot of pips it's like a 300 pips trade so it's gonna be good one here is the kiwi cat sorry this is the kiwi cat uh actually what i'm thinking here is um, we have this long term channel and we have this trend line break right so what could probably happen uh, here is that uh, uh all right so the traders enter at the short here they enter at this break here price retrace that you know even more trading and so what i'm waiting for now i think we will see the correction a little bit lower into the 184 maybe but uh, i don't think the price will drop down like this because as said the banks still have the positions on the kiwi and if that happen uh, they will have to come uh, to close them above these stop loss zones right so if the price retrace i would be interested to enter the short here is the kiwi usd uh so what is going on here as said we have uh, positions added to the kiwi and but it was here right the problem is that there was the fomc and it's kind of confusing because i don't know what happened with the positions right in here so um of course the price can drop even lower so i will not be entering the long trade yet uh, what i would be waiting for is the, if the price move higher here you know and uh, will start to do something nice here you know then i would be interested to enter uh, and to entering right now in this stop loss zone because very important will be the monday and tuesday that's mostly the days which are uh, something like a you know just the accumulation so if the price drops lower and start to do something nice here or here uh right now to enter like this maybe but uh, with the smaller risk so what i'm waiting for a set uh the bank still have the quite uh, big position so where they will be want to close it 
it's going to be here, right? So they're building these steps. Now what happened? Traders uh, enter at the break of this trend line, price dropping, you know, you can see one drop, second drop, so many traders entering the shorts. We have the break of this low. Here on this uh, stop loss zone, let me clear here on this stop loss zone. Why is it stop loss zone for me? Because here the traders enter at the long, you know, here even more enter at the long, so they put stop losses. Uh, uh, this wasn't here before, so they put stop losses here, right? so price dropping even another bounce and now boom so it's quite good zone in around this to look for the longs now the question will be how the monday tuesday will be played in here and then possible move up right and this is it my friends so as i already said if you're interested to see uh, the cot by yourself just visit my website and as well visit my trading view where i'm updating the charts every day as well it's in the telegram and don't forget subscribe for the youtube because there is the updates daily as well have a great rest of the week bye bye